The new podcast, Yeah, No, I'm Not Okay, is a place for honest conversation about mental illness, addiction, and depression created by actress Diane Guerrero. She's known, of course, for her roles in the hit shows Jane the Virgin and Orange is the New Black, and she's currently starring the HBO Max superhero series, series Doom Patrol, where she plays a character a character now, a superhero, battling mental illness. Diane says her own struggles with mental health and the taboo around talking about it in communities of color inspired her popular podcast. She joins us now from Atlanta, Georgia. Welcome to the show, Diane. Thank you so much for being on with us. Hi, thank you so much for having me. I did the title, Yeah, No, I'm Not Okay. We've talked a lot about you know, people being able to empower themselves to say, I'm not okay, without feeling as if you are, um, you're weak or you're a burden. How did you come to terms with this? Well, you know, um, I've, I've struggled a very long time with my own feelings and feeling like, you know, I'm too much or I'm feeling too much. That has always been a part of my life. And I feel like that was always a part of my family's life and always sort of apologizing for having mental illness or mental health issues. And, you know, as a society and, and in our communities, we grow up with so much shame and being ashamed of ourselves that we have a hard time living full lives and being our whole selves. Right. And like, imagine a world where we can just be who we are and be accepted. Um, and, and I feel like we would get, we would get to the, to the root of the problem so much easier. I feel like we would be, um, a lot happier. Right. If we were I just think that, you know, honest. again, going back to that phrase though, I'm not okay. I just read a, a tweet that someone put out the other day and it was a woman who said, I am so tired of being called resilient. She was like, it's okay. Of course we want to be seen as that overall, but she felt <laughs> like I just need a moment that people don't say you're so resilient because sometimes mm -hmm. you're not. And that's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or, or the word brave, right? Yeah. We're just, well, let's just be human. Like we are full humans who experience life and feelings and we have different traumas and we carry different things from our ancestors. I mean, mm -hmm. all of that stuff is real. And for community, communities of color, in particular, um, immigrant communities, um, we're experiencing lots of stuff like systemic oppression, racism, xenophobia, transphobia, uh, you name it. Right. And, and these things are also mental health issues. And so that's why this podcast is so important important to me because I wanted to intersect um, journeys and people's stories the, and intersect the personal yeah. with the social and political. You know, you talk about some of the, the things that happen um, in our communities, particularly with your story, it includes trauma. I mean, when I mm -hmm. read that one day you came home from school and your parents were not there, they were gone. I think the meal was still on the table and you're a kid mm -hmm. coming home. And your parents had been deported back to Columbia, Columbia and never uh -huh. returned. A child coming home to no parents, no sign of them. Like, it's like a, a horror film. They've disappeared. And it was a horror film for you. But it was life. This was your life. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. This, this... I, I grew up with the fear of my parents being taken away and then in time finally did happen when I was 14. So leading up to this, I was experiencing a lot of anxiety and a lot of trauma. But I mean, imagine a child being afraid every night that their parents are going to be taken away. I mean, right. this this has to be very harmful for a child's developing brain. And it was for me indeed. And yeah, and, and it was something that I had experienced, but it's because of the society that we grow up in where you can't share your feelings, where it's embarrassing to tell people that your family has failed or your family has experienced something like this, you internalize it. Mm -hmm. And so later on, uh, while I was in college, it was where I started ha to have a lot of problems. I mean, I started having a lot of problems even in high school, but it really, really got dangerous later on and in my adult life. I love that you're working on this project, Doom Patrol, latest season, your character, um, the character's life uh, similar in some ways, I guess, to yours, which is so interesting to have a superhero have or discuss mental health issues. Why did they decide or why, why did they decide to go this way? And why was it important for you to take this role? 
Oh my gosh. I, yeah, I, I mean, superheroes are, are, you know, considered like these indestructible beings. Right. right. And I think that sometimes us as human beings, we try to be these indestructible beings, but we're not a lot of, a lot affects us. I mean, think about this whole year, this whole pandemic. I mean, I, I thought, I thought I had issues before and like now, <laughs> you know, so many things have come out and yeah. really made me feel human. And I think that the, what this show tries to do, and it's not just my character, they, all the, all the superheroes yeah. have mental health issues and have some sort of trauma that they're dealing with. Um, I think it's great to, um, to, to talk about this in, in, in the story of, of, of superheroes so that we can know that, yeah. you know, we, we, we all struggle through things and we all can't always be superheroes, even though we, ha we can show up and be our best selves, right. even though we have our great moments in our lives where we overcome great challenges, but we still have issues and yeah. we still have to work on these things and talk about them freely. Well, congratulations on the show, Doom Patrol, and the podcast. Thank you so Thank you. much for joining us. I'll keep track of all you're doing. Thank you. Of course. Thank, Thank you. You're so beautiful. I love seeing you. <laughs> Thank you. The podcast, again, is Yeah, No, I'm Not Okay. It's available for streaming wherever you get your podcasts, and you can watch Doom Patrol on HBO Max.